Welcome back, this is John Locke, and today I'm answering a question that comes in, which is, what if you only do off-page SEO optimization, building backlinks to your website, and you do no on-page optimization for SEO? So, no altering content, no changing content, no changing any type of meta tag or title tag or anything else, but just strictly building backlinks. Okay, what's probably going to happen is you might see, you're probably going to see some sort of rankings boost, but unless you're making changes to the actual website itself, you're probably not going to maximize your ranking. You're probably not going to rank like number one or top five or whatever you're going for. The reason why I say this, a long time ago, maybe 12 years ago, if you would just build a metric ton of backlinks from different domains to your website, that would have probably been enough to get you ranking. Because for a long time, that was the most important thing that search engines were using as an indicator of whether a, a particular web page should rank at the tippy top. Now, over time, people figured out how to manipulate that. And they developed all kinds of tactics. They would buy links, people would set up extensive uh, what they call private blog networks. People would set up link farms, they would set up article farms. There's this whole side industry of people writing um, articles that would go onto different sites like this, and, or people selling uh, articles or links, basically, uh, to generate these backlinks that would go back to your website. Well, what's happened in the last five years is that the, effective, the effectiveness of that has diminished greatly. Not to say that it doesn't still have some effect, but it's not a very good sign of quality. It's honestly not a very good sign. If you're, all your backlinks are, you're just getting a bunch of backlinks from just random sites all, all of a sudden out of the blue, and they're kind of known for being the types of sites that sell backlinks, or they generate a bunch of um, random articles for different people, and they all backlink to different types of sites each and every day. So that's probably not a good indicator of a quality site, and it's not indicator of a good backlink. So what the search engines have actually done Google specifically over the last few years is they've, it seems to me that they have developed better ways of judging whether people are satisfied with the page. On top of that, about six years ago, they launched RankBrain, which is basically, uh, I don't wanna call it artificial intelligence, but it's machine learning. But basically what it does is that, along with the natural language API, is they've gotten a lot better at breaking down the actual meaning of pages. Also on top of that, they've gotten a lot better at judging real user signals, whether people are satisfied with the page or not. You know how I know that? Because I see lots of different sites or different web pages that have comparable content, but the ones that seem to have the best design seem to raise to the top. and how would a search engine be able to arbitrarily measure that? Well, they could probably figure out what's in the content, but as far as user signals and judging what the best content is, that's probably not something that they could do uh, without some other signals besides, you know, just reading the content in the page. So, what I'm saying to you is, yes, you can build backlinks and you should, build backlinks. Though don't buy any links and definitely don't go through a private blog network or an article farm or anything else like that in order to get backlinks. But what I'm saying to you is, is you absolutely should be making changes to the content on your pages. Look at the Google search results and tell me for each keyword that you're looking at, what are the patterns that you see? And what I mean by that is, let's say that you're trying to rank, we'll just say, something random. We'll just say like uh, refrigerator sales in Cincinnati, Ohio. Now what you might see, I'm just using this as random, is you might see a bunch of appliance uh, dealerships or e-commerce uh, pages. 
So if you're writing a long blog post about, you know, refrigeration or something like that, that's not going to rank because that's not what people want to find. So one of the things that you should be doing is looking at, so for each given keyword that you're trying to rank for, look and see what Google is actually rewarding. There's a pattern there because they, over time, they're looking both at the content on the page, they're looking at the backlink profile, the other things that it gathers, like information about the company itself, the different companies that do this in the area. But they're also looking for, can people get the information they need or can they get to the goal that they're trying to get to? Can they complete the task that they're trying to do? Can they buy what they're trying to buy? Can they learn what they're trying to learn? If those things are not on the page, then you need to edit that content. You need to change that content. You need to do stuff on page. And if your design is subpar, if your website looks like something out of the 1990s, then yes, you need to change the design of your site. So if you only do off-page SEO, if you're only building backlinks, you are going to get passed by by people who are doing on-page as well. So all these things have to happen in conjunction with one another. They can't happen in isolation. You're not going to get the same effect. So because you cannot force Google uh, or any search engine really to do what you want it to do without giving it something of substance that real users, real human beings would respond to. So that means the content that they expect to see, good design, the information and different sections on the page or the task completion uh, sections on the page that they expect to see. And just overall, yes, your backlink profile is a part of that as well. Google does look for patterns within the, the backlink profile, but yes, if you're only doing on page or if you're only doing off page, you're just not gonna get as far as like other people who are doing the entire package. That's the truth. My name is John Locke. My business is Lockdown Design and SEO. And I'm here every single day making videos on SEO. If you have a question that you would like to see answered, put in the comments below. I'll be happy to answer. And until next time, peace.